Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike. Cheers. In today's devotion, stand for what's right. Judges 21, 25, and Judges 2, 11. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. The children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. Too many people today feel that the old moral standards are useless and out of date. They believe they ought to be free to make up their own minds about what is right and wrong, thus doing what is right in their own eyes. That's where compromise slips in, that little voice that urges you to lighten up, to give in, whispering that it's okay to go along in insignificant acts. But this is the voice of temptation that comes from the devil. You have heard the saying, the devil is in the details. Well, Solomon wrote that it is the little foxes that spoil the vines. And that's in Song of Solomon 2.15. If we do not pay attention to the little things that distract us, we will find ourselves in the midst of a big thing that will undo us. We convince ourselves that there is no such thing as right or wrong, but the Bible tells us otherwise. Don't settle for defeat when God has called us to victory. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And always know that there is right and wrong. If it wasn't so, we wouldn't have a conscience. We wouldn't have laws that we obey. If right and wrong was right in our own eyes, we'd be living in total anarchy. Just keep that in mind. There is right and wrong. No matter what the lies and deceptions the enemy tells you or this world tries to tell you, we have a conscience. We follow laws. Most of us are law-abiding citizens. So don't fall into that liar temptation. That's actually one of the devil's dumbest lies, but it's one of his most successful because people like to not think about the thing called a conscience. But again, I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And have a wonderful day.